Hi, Brian Burquist here, Mr. Marbled Fabric of Quilter's Treasure. Today I'm going to show you how to marble fabric with shaving cream and Sukaneko inks. It's really easy, it's really fun, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. We'll be using Sukaneko inks, which are water-based and non-toxic, therefore safe to use with anyone of any age. We'll be using shaving cream, a scraper, some toothpicks, a dry iron, and some fabric to marble on. You can use any fabric, cotton, polyester, etc. Flannel and fleece don't work quite as well. We are ready to marble. We've got a surface to marble on, some Sukaneko inks, shaving cream, and some toothpicks. I've opened up my inks and got them ready. I'm going to shake my shaving cream. Again, I prefer foam over a gel. Simply because of gel, you have to work up into a foam. And a foam, again, well, it's already a foam. I'll take and flatten this out as though you were frosting a cake. You want the surface to be relatively flat and free of air bubbles. It just takes a second or two to get that out. And then you have a nice surface to work on. We'll take our inks now and use our Sukaneko inks. Just sprinkle out a few dots. The ink is very concentrated and it doesn't take a lot to give you quite a bit of color. You can also mix ink in with the shaving cream, swirl it all together and fold it in on itself so that you have a colored shaving cream, then marble on top of that with other colors. I'll now take a toothpick and use it onto my dots of shaving cream and get the marbled effect going. It's a very easy process. Just begin swirling. There's no real rules of marbling. At some point, if you over marble, you will end up with brown. But you can just add a little bit more color and keep going from there. It's a real quick marble design. Give it a little more of a pattern. There we go. Now we'll capture this onto fabric. I have a piece of cotton fabric here. I'm just going to lay it on top. I have not pre-treated or pre-washed or done anything to the fabric ahead of time. Just right off the bolt. Lay that on. Press lightly but firmly so the surface of the fabric and the surface of the shaving cream come into contact. And then you're going to peel that up. We'll move our workstation out of the way, and we'll bring over our piece of fabric. Now, we need to make sure that the edge of our squeegee is clean, and I'm going to very, very lightly go right across the surface of that. Ta-da! There's your design. Again, each time you go back over, you want to make sure to scrape that squeegee edge clean, otherwise you risk rubbing the ink into the fabric and smudging it. Now we'll take and bring an iron over. I do recommend a pressing cloth, just to prevent any ink from getting on your iron. We'll real quickly iron that, just to heat set the inks. Pull it up, and there's your marbled piece of fabric. Easily created, and very, very quick. Here's a larger piece. Great way to design quilt blocks. And by taking your time and putting your pieces on, your dots of ink on individually, you can even do something fun and create a little scene. This was done completely with the inks, just by placing the dots a little more carefully to create the different design. We hope you've enjoyed marbling and shaving cream with Mr. Marbled Fabric using Sukaneko inks. To recap the directions, sprinkle a few drops of ink onto a flattened cake of shaving cream. Repeat this process using a toothpick to add more colors. Use that pin or toothpick to swirl the inks and create your design. You can add more ink as you go along for a different effect, taking a marbled piece and adding a few drops of stone type effect into it. Then lay your fabric on top of the design and press firmly but gently to allow the ink to come up into the fabric. Scrape the shaving cream very lightly with the clean edge of a squeegee or scraper. At that point, heat set to make your design permanent. Be creative with the ink. Try a tree, a bird, a butterfly. Have fun and experiment. Make t-shirts. Design a necktie. Have a lot of fun with this and enjoy. Thank you very much.